Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, <laughs> I bet. <laughs> um, we are uh, Luke and Rebecca uh, from John Cullen Lighting. Um, I'm the design director in the UK, and uh, Bex is the design director out in the Middle East. Um, so great to have Bex uh, on the uh, webinar today, uh, just because uh, out in the Middle East, um, pool and spa lighting really is the norm. Uh, for most of the projects you're dealing with, yeah. isn't it? Um, yes. So yeah. get lots of experience lighting these luxury spaces. Um, obviously, in London, uh, space uh, is a, more of a, a premium, so th this tends to be um, more of a, uh, a, a, a an area of the house which you see uh, more rarely than frequently. Uh, but it's very exciting, and uh, we've got some really cool stuff to go through with you today. Um, just a reminder that uh, you can see all of our previous uh, eight uh, or seven webinars plus today uh, on demand uh, on our website. Firstly, just to say that um, the swimming pool area should be treated like any other area of the house in many respects. And the fact that you want to be able to create different moods and different scenes and, and use the lighting as a tool to enhance the interiors uh, of the space. So you can see here how if I switch between the two different scenes that you get a totally different feel. Um, and you can imagine with the first scene here, um, how it's you know, bright and invigorating, perfect for a, a morning swim. Whereas the second scene is great if you wanted just to chill out and really relax. And that's giving you that uh, very much a spa feeling. So a couple and of things. Things add a lot. Yeah. Sorry, Luke. <laughs> no, no, go <laughs> ahead. Add, the add a lot, lot, don't they? It's, it's, uh, it's something that's a little bit trickier and I think quite scary to, to add into a, to the pools because it has to be, um, it has to be done with a lot of planning, uh, a lot of thought, and it has to be done by a specialist. This can't be done just by anybody, can it? No. So um, what Bex is referring to are these little dots of light, which you see or appear to see in the surface of the water here. Actually, these are at the base of the pool. So you have a, a very small fibre which runs to a termination fitting, which is recessed into the bottom of the pool. Uh, and then the light is emitted at that point there. So what you get is a starry sky effect in the pool itself. So rather than having lights in the ceiling over the pool, which would be hard to maintain and access, mm. here we put the lights into the base of the pool uh, and they're up lighting through. So it really changes the perspective. So just switch between those two scenes again there. You can see in that image there how the surface of the water appears like a almost like a black mirror and then yeah. if you dim down the ambient lighting and increase the the accent lighting within the pool then you get a totally different um, mood and, and feeling in the space pools tend to be quite architectural um, mostly they're more modern in style uh, more contemporary um, and we tend to use quite a lot of uh, linear led and you can see how we've applied that here uh, within this uh, particular room. Um, we've got a couple of different architectural features where we're concealing the light source. On the left hand side here, you can see how it's grazing down that textured surface. So you're going to enhance the sort of definition between light and shadow. Whereas on the other side, it's, it's more of a general wall wash. Um, so there's not a lot of key features within this space which really grab your attention. Um, it's all about the material finishes which are, are being applied to the room. Um, and we wanted to talk here about um, the dimming aspects, didn't we, Bex, and how you wanted yes. to control <clears throat> and it's, um, lighting. And it's often a it's often a fight to to get dimming into a swimming pool uh, itself because often it's considered as as an unnecessary approach. I think most of the time the lighting in a swimming pool is is done so that you light the pool in a safe uh, and hygienic environment so that you're able to see everything uh, that you need to, but by adding the dimming, I think it just adds this in, in integral layer to to the whole scene. And often, you know, it's it's an incredibly large space that you're lighting. And if you have all of your other elements that you're considering, the pool is is such a vast space that you're lighting up. And if it is just these great big fixtures that you can only switch on and off, you ruin the the mood completely uh, as soon as you've turned on those swimming pool lights. So. I think it's incredibly important that, that they're firstly dimmed so that you can have that difference in, in layers of light, but also so that uh, 
they're potentially a lot more smaller than they might <laughs> might be when they're put in at the start, which mm. is something that's, that's a constant conversation. Um, I mean, I would say 95% of our projects here have pools. Um, so it's, it's uh, a recurring conversation to, to change the lighting in, in a pool. But when it's such a large space, you know, it shouldn't overwhelm everything else uh, that it's next to. Mm. Yeah, this, dimming uh, is, uh, sorry. I was gonna say, it's just, it's just so important. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and having the lights on different circuits as well, so you can dim them yeah. independently yeah. from one another. This is quite a cool project because actually, um, the pool um, could not be a pool at, at some in some uh, instances. The the base of the pool actually rises up to turn this into an entertainment space uh, where you could have um, seating for uh, you know uh, lots of people coming for a party uh, or uh, a ballroom set up as well. Um, so the lighting can be flexible in, in both uh, situations. There, obviously, you're going to wait for that to dry out before you invite the guests in. But yes. quite cool. <laughs> Here you can see this um, this particular um, setup has got a lot more sort of visual, visually appealing aspects to it, with with different finishes being applied um, and different things around the space, which really catch your eye and draw your attention. And we can use the the lighting to really enhance that. So on the left hand side, probably this is the most um, impactful uh, element of the, of the scheme is a linear strip at high level just grazing down that surface again highlighting the definition between light and shadow um, and, and enhancing that material just by using a, a single LED strip skimming down. Then along the walkway here um, we've got these pools of light so you could go for a wide beam angle here which would give you a, a flood of lights um, which would easily light the space but here we've intentionally gone for more of a tighter beam of light so you actually see circles of light on the floor and that um, in your mind your eyes almost gets drawn down that space it follows the pattern to the feature at the end that vista which is the outside space in a light well where you've got the piece of artwork which is which is uplit using floor recessed uplighters you've also got the you know this new material being introduced which is the, the wood uh, wall um, and I'm going to show you that in another image very shortly um, and in the ceiling you can see we don't have a lot of lights over the pool itself so we've got the linear strip here which is important because that's going to graze down the wall there but lights in the ceiling over the pool firstly they're going to be difficult to access from a maintenance point of view so you're likely to have to build a scaffold over the pool itself or drain the pool neither of which are particularly easy to do and also what benefit is it going to give you it's going to light down, hit the surface of the water, and then just bounce back onto the ceiling. So what we've done is we've lit within the pool here using uh, these little pool lights on the side here, just shooting light across the space here. You can see the result of that on the wall here, that blue light there. It's not actually a blue light, but it's the, obviously the colour of the water, which is changing it. And then we've set any down lights um, in this easily accessible area. And you can see that the intention is that they're actually lighting the floor space rather than the, the, the water itself. Uh, this is a, the, um, another view. Go ahead. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I think one of the, uh, the interesting things, we, you, you talked about all those different layers of light. Um, and would you say that with the, the, the pool lighting control as well, we've mentioned dimming, mm -hmm. but how important is it that the pool itself is actually controlled within that space with all those layers? Because most of the time it's put in a pump room and you have a manual switch. Um, yeah. You, you, yeah, you definitely want to integrate the um, internal lighting to the pool uh, within the, the actual lighting uh, scenes of the whole space so that you can uh, create different moods and atmospheres using that lighting because it's one of the, the key features within the space is the actual water itself and inside the pool. Uh, often you have uh, options for color changing, uh, but obviously dimming is you know the, the fundamental aspect that you want to be able to control um, through the scene setting system. Um, I quite like on this project how the floor recessed up lighters here have been used to enhance the fluted aspect of the wood. Um, so they're just sort of skimming up there. You can see we've used quite a few of them in the floor there. Um, but in this case, almost more is better. Um, and actually it means that we have less downlights in the ceiling um, because we're getting a reflected light 
off of the ceiling itself back into the space. So that's creating your ambient lighting effect. 